I throw out the last bit, which should be pretty cool. So people are rolling in. It's a beautiful night here. It's about 80 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely wonderful night for baseball. It's Rock Isaac with Sunrise. What do you guys say we start the day off with some baby ball pythons that just hatched? In this clutch, there's actually just one egg, but the egg hatched out and it's an absolute banger. It's actually a cinnamon, it's a spider, it's a yellow belly, it's a bongo, and it is a fire ball python. I mean, oh my goodness gracious, that's a lot of really cool genes there. Love the head pattern on this animal, and that bongo gene just makes things look really cool. Love this animal a tremendous amount. Again, Sometimes when you only have one egg in a clutch, you don't want to get disappointed because sometimes you can get lucky and just hatch out an absolute ripper. This leather clutch was a little bit more animals. This was actually just a chocolate pinstripe bed to a banana chocolate spinner. So we have all kinds of cool stuff here. I mean, take a look at this. This is actually just a banana chocolate pinstripe absolutely love this animal love the way that one turned out then we ended up getting again some chocolate pinstripes here love these guys here this is actually what they call a camel ball python we produced the very first camel ball python it's actually a super chocolate pinstripe love it you guys know i thought that that was the whole barney ball thing then we have actually some variations here this is actually like the daddy here which is actually the banana chocolate spinner we have another banana chocolate spinner here then just another spinner ball python without the chocolate which is weird because again we thought we would have a chocolate and everything but nevertheless some really cool stuff and then here we actually have the super chocolates without the banana really dark beautiful animals i tell you what, i love starting my day with beautiful animals so what do you say we have a great day together and later on tonight, we're actually going to a cool baseball stadium called Jimmy John Stadium. It's kind of like a minor league park, really cool. It's right down the street, which is really awesome. And we're bringing a bunch of animals. It's gonna be called Reptarium Night over there. And with any luck, Sunrise and myself are actually gonna to get to throw out the first pitch of the ball game, which will be pretty darn awesome. You ready for your debut uh, there, Sunrise? To be honest with you, we did it once before, a couple years back, and she did absolutely incredible. I mean, threw a strike right down the plate. Uh, she was absolutely amazing, so should be a really good time. I've actually been really excited about them waiting for this shipment. You guys know that I am a shoe guy and I had my friends actually send me a pair of these that are absolute rippers. Take a oh my gosh these things are so cool. Take a look at that ball python shoes right there. That's right ball python shoes. They are absolutely incredible. Love these things. Love them to death. So what I'm going to do is actually put a link in the description to where you can get yours if you want. I think that I actually might even have a promo code. Uh, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll know what that promo code is so that you can save the money on them. I'm not sure we talked about it, but nevertheless, look at how cool those things are. What do you say we put them on and try them out? Absolutely amazing. Love my new shoes. They're super comfy. And now I've got some cool ball python kicks. That's right. Again, link in the description. Definitely I have a bunch of cool animal stuff. Loving it. So uh, thank you so much for sending them to me. I'm gonna share my breakfast with Brillo. The Dillo? Brillo the Dillo. Will you go on this kitty? Brillo. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You already know his name is Brillo. Hey, 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 hey. Today actually is a really big day for this guy. He's gonna go to his first zoo to you. He's gonna go to his first little birthday party and I think he's gonna love it. What do you think, Brills? Yeah, he's gonna love it. We're excited today because guess what, Jessica? Yay! You've all got our- backgrounds are here. <laughs> all the backdrops are here from Universal Rock. So we're super excited to get these also. Uh, just gotta hump these downstairs and then Jessica's gotta start working on that room. She's gonna be busy for a while. We're super excited to get it going.
definitely exciting to get these down. Jessica's actually gonna bring them downstairs and put them in the enclosures and start to seal them up over the next little bit. Uh, and then I have the actual uh, exterior so I can make it start looking more like the Reptarium. So uh, project is starting, uh, probably big work on this in the next couple days. So uh, pretty exciting for sure. You have your work cut out for you. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot to but I know you're excited about it. I am, I'm so happy to finally get to, like I know I've been doing a little bit here and there and yeah. here, but I'm excited to get the whole thing yeah, done. Now it can yes. be done, that'd be so cool. So. Uh, I'll let her work on some stuff today and I'll go back to my job. So good luck. For those of you guys that didn't know, Noah Woo. is just back. You went on like okay. a 13, 14 day trip across the country. Is that how long it was? I don't know. You were gone a lot. <laughs> it seemed like I didn't even recognize when he came back. I know. But uh, I got to show you something. Well, come with me. All right, I'm excited. Uh, he hasn't met our newest animal ambassador. Oh you excited? You got another one? Yep, are you excited? Yeah, what is it? Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. Here you go. I'm not looking yet. No, you got to come over and look. <laughs> you got an armadillo? <laughs> this is Brillo. Brillo? Hi, Brillo. Don't these carry the black plague? No, the nine bandits carry leprosy. Oh, but, uh, oh but, nice, these, nice. but these are six bandits, so they don't carry oh, leprosy. Oh, perfect. That's, that's <laughs> good. I was, honestly, I was a little worried about that. <laughs> yeah, no. Is he cute wow. or what? Are you kidding me? He's just hanging out with me. I know. He loves people. Look at this. He literally loves people. He loves what people. What is this? Isn't it crazy? This is the weirdest thing ever. I know. He doesn't run away. He's just like, hey, what's going on? I heard that if you give them toys, they like bounce up and down yeah, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's so funny. Yeah, we gave a ball yesterday. Look, he's just sniffing me. He's like, what's on your leg here? <laughs> I probably smell like him, honestly. <laughs> Isn't that? So, Noah, we have an armadillo. I know. Is that crazy? Mom, sign off on this? Mo Mom said yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Actually, Jay, I begged. Yeah, Jay and I got her both. We took her in the office and said, we've got to do this. And she said, yes. Unbelievably, she signed off on it like within five minutes. It's so cool. Look at this thing. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Put it right here. Just like this? Yeah, just pick it up. What the heck? Look at you, dude. Look at his belly. He's a little, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to handle you yet, man. It's like a baby. He's like a, I, you want to hear a fun fact about these? Yeah. I don't know if it's this species, but I heard that you know, a Texas man tried to shoot one of them mm -hmm. and the bullet bounced off and hit him back in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's a wise tale. I, that sounds like an urban legend to me, but I, but I, I hope no one does shoot any armadillo. So you deserve to get shot in the head if you hit shot an armadillo. Hey, but buddy. thankfully, uh, Brillo won't ever have to worry about that. Hey, Brillo. He's so cool. I didn't know they had hair like this. What I the know. heck? And isn't it cool that he just like cuddles up with you? And yeah, what is this a little dog? <laughs> Maybe he starts selling these as pets. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. So it's good to see things starting to come together. Obviously, Jessica has backdrops in a lot of the enclosures. Not all of them yet, but she's working her way around. Obviously, this is the one that's completely done ready for an animal. This is what they'll all look like. Of course, we're gonna have Will Nace. He just reached out to me and said, save a big one for me. And then we're gonna have Tanner from Serpa Design come and actually do a couple enclosures too. So it's gonna be really amazing. I have to, of course, put the all the fronts on here so you don't see the two by fours. That's gonna happen here in the next day, two, three days at the very most. That way, that's all done. We've got to get lighting in, which we have from Zoom. We just have to install it. Uh, the place is looking great. I mean, look at how cool this wall is going to look. Again, obviously, all of that styrofoam and foam will be covered up with, uh, you know, seams and stuff like that. Lots of cool things. I mean, this is going to look absolutely incredible. Jessica did a really good job so far. So uh, this is going to be an awesome room when it's done. I'm getting all kinds of goodies today. Our friends over at the Toad Ranch actually sent me something. Not exactly sure what it is, but we're gonna find out for sure. Again, this is the company that we're gonna be doing a lot of the caging for the extra animals downstairs, you know, for the zoo, like educational animals and stuff like that. I just like these guys. I mean, just really cool, kind of neat things. No idea what is in here. Okay, we have a box like that. And it looks like that's it. Oh, wait. Is there something in here? Oh, yep, there's something in here. Okay. There you go. Good job, good job. And rip these open. 
Oh, I like these. I actually think these are cool. Okay, this is a little Toad Ranch shirt right here. Thank you, guys. I'm wondering what this is, though. This is what's got me intrigued because I'm wondering if this, could this be like a little cage or something? I mean, what is it? I don't know what. Ugh. I know I'm impatient when I'm unboxing things. I know that for sure. And I think that this might be samples, possibly, of the different colors that they have. It is. It is samples. Take a look at this. This is what I love about this. This is, again, this like. It's plastic, like a PVC type of plastic, but it is. Uh, this one is mahogany, so if you want your cage to be mahogany, that's awesome. If you want it to be teak, which is pretty cool too. Again, gosh, really durable, big, thick cages. Again, just, I, I don't know. Again, I, I will say, no endorsement, not a paid sponsorship, nothing like that. Just I just have been a fan of this. This is what they call driftwood. So we have to decide what color we want to make those cages in the basement. I don't know what you think. I mean, driftwood's pretty cool. Kind of matches the kind of decor downstairs too that might be a must uh, I don't know I'm not really sure but thank you for sending me the samples uh, again Toad Ranch you can check them out link in the description I mean just a cool company again not being paid for this I'm just telling you that I like the company and I'm definitely gonna be doing a bunch of our enclosures like I said with the auxiliary animals for the reptarium I got some snails sweet mango yeah, you always make it so like a and a few words. here it comes come on mango Come on, you gotta come up here. Come on. Ah. I love this guy. He's doing so good. Uh, ever since he lost his tail, a lot of his energy's been going back into, you know, growing his tail, regenerating, all that stuff. Now he's starting to put on some pounds. Well, pounds, he's still pretty small. <laughs> but he's, he's getting there. He's starting to bulk up. He's been going to the gym, just kind of like Jay says he has. But he's actually been doing stuff. He still fights to careful. Don't don't make him bite my finger, okay? I want to see if you won't eat that big sand. You know, lots of juicy goosey. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's a big chunk right there. Come on, buddy. Yeah, demolish it. Ah, uh, hear the crunch? That's how strong his jaws are. It took me five minutes to crush the snail yesterday, and he just did it in. Half of a second. Come on, buddy. Nom, 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 nom. He's slowly becoming one of my favorites. No, that's why he's already been one of my favorites. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're heading out to Jimmy John's. So we got here to the stadium. The baseball players have been here. All the media people have been here kind of hanging out with us. Uh, first pitch is about an hour from now. The gates open in about 10 minutes. That's when a lot of people are going to be around. It's going to be absolutely amazing. But uh, again, it's going to be a fun time introducing all the animals to everyone here at the stadium. And then we get to throw out the first pitch here coming up. Oh, <laughs> So we're out here getting ready to throw out the first pitch just in about two or three minutes or so. There's going to be a handful of other people throwing out pitches, but I throw out the last pitch, which should be pretty cool. So people are rolling in. It's a beautiful night here. It's about 80 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely wonderful night for baseball. It's Brian Barzik with Sunrise. That was an absolutely amazing time. We still have some people here, so we're gonna hang out a little longer, maybe catch the game and stuff like that. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor. There's a playlist. Watch one or two of those. I appreciate you. What else you can do is uh, subscribe to this vlog channel right over here. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.